Hey everyone, this is Stefan from GroovyPost.com and in this video we'll take a look at how to do focus stacking in Photoshop. Now this is just a quick reminder, this video will show you only the things you need to do behind the computer screen, but if you need some help and tips on what to do behind the viewfinder, you can click the link in the description of this video to go to our full article where I've written down some tips on how to actually take the photos themselves. So now going back to Photoshop, I'll show you the two methods for doing this, the automatic method and the manual one. We'll start off with the automatic one because obviously it's a lot simpler. Uh, you'll need to have all your focus stacking images ready and then you want to go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And this will open up a new dialog box from where you can choose two or more files to load into an image stack, meaning each individual image will become its own layer. I'll just click the browse button and I'm already in the folder that I need to be and I'll select all of my images by clicking on the first one and then the last one while holding down shift press OK and there's a special option here to attempt to automatically align source images I'll leave this unchecked because all my images are perfectly aligned and I've checked this but if you think your images might be a little off you can actually enable this option to make sure they're all going to be aligned now just press OK and as you can see down here in the layers panel Photoshop is automatically loading my layers uh, and making them out of each separate image now here we have uh, each and every layer ready for focus stacking. You can see as I disable them uh, exactly how I'm moving the focus on the camera. Uh, now having the first layer selected, again I'll hold down the shift key and click on the last one to select all of my layers. And to begin the focus stacking, I'll click on edit and then choose auto blend layers. There are two options here, one for a panorama and one for stacking images, doing focus stacking, and this is the one we want. So just make sure it's enabled, and if your photo is in color, this one isn't, but if yours is, you want to keep seamless tones and colors checked. Now just press OK, and I'll wait a while until the progress bar goes to the end. Now this process can be quite long depending on the image size and also how fast your computer is, but normally it takes anywhere from two to five minutes. So here we are again after the auto blend layers has finished. You can see that now each layer has its own layer mask and the layer masks only allow the sharpest parts of each layer to actually reach the final image. You can see that the photo of the microphone is now sharp all the way through. And uh, since I'm ready, I'll just press Control Shift S. I'll save this as a JPEG and I'll name it microphone and say stacked in brackets. Press the save button and I'll choose the largest possible quality coming in at 12 which is the maximum. Now I'll just close this Photoshop document and I'll also show you the manual way for stacking photos. First I'll double click here on the empty space to open up uh, a new document. I'll click this marbles photo that I have ready and then I'll choose file place to put in the second frame. There's really no need to use uh, layer stacking in uh, when you have only about two or three images. You can just use file place because it's a lot faster. Uh, I'll start by right clicking this layer and choosing race rise layer and also double clicking the background layer then pressing OK to make a regular layer out of it. Uh, then I'll just uh, uh, disable the first layer to see what we have on the bottom one and then look at the top one again. As you can see I just want this marble and this marble to be in focus with everything else completely blown out. And I'll just click on this icon here down to create a layer mask for my first layer. I'll press Control A then choose right click fill black and I'll press OK on that one and then I'll deselect. Uh, now basically this layer is uh, acting like a disabled one but if I pick up my brush and I choose white as my foreground color I can slowly start painting over this marble over here and I'll start bringing it back into focus and now the 
good thing about this is that I can choose exactly how much of the marble I want to bring in focus. For example, I could leave it just like this to have an unrealistic effect, or I can just continue with uh, gentle brush strokes until I bring it uh, all the way into focus just the way I want it to be. Uh, so here it is. Now we have both of the marbles into focus. Uh, optionally, we can merge the visible layers or just flatten the image. Then again, I'll press Control Shift S and save this as marbles stacked. And that's about all you need to know. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. And if you have any questions about it, make sure you ask us down in the comment section below.